Hello, how to solve this exponential problem and find all the values of a that satisfies this equation. We have a power 4 plus 4 and this equals 0. Now, what we are going to do is we need to apply this trick right now. We can have our a power 4 plus we have our 4. Then plus we can add 4a squared. Then we also subtract the 4a squared and this equals 0. We are actually adding this 4a squared and we are subtracting it again in such a way that we can make use of it to actually expand this. So if you consider a power 4 plus 4 plus 4a squared, this, we can actually work with this. Because at this particular point, there's little we can actually do, so we need to add this for a squared and subtract it again. And remember, when you add for a squared and subtract it again, you are actually adding not. So that is why we can actually make use of this trick in order to get to the solution that we are looking for. Now, at this point, we can easily rearrange this. So what I'm going to do is I can have a power four, then I can have this one here plus 4a squared then I can have plus 4 then I have minus 4a squared and this equals 0 so what we have here we can factor it out we can actually factorize that because if I have a to the power of 2 plus 2 and I raise it to the power of 2 then this will give me what I have right here let me expand it so let's see it together this is equivalent to writing a squared plus 2 times a squared plus 2 so the next step will be for me to expand this a squared times a squared that is a power 4 plus a squared times 2 that is 2a squared plus 2 times a squared, we have 2a squared plus 2 times 2, we have 4. So at this particular point, we can have a to the power of 4 plus 2a squared plus 2a squared will give me this is 4a squared plus 4. So this actually corresponded to what we have here. Now, instead of writing this in power 4 plus 4 a squared plus 4, I'm going to replace it with this. A power 2 plus 2 raised to the power of 2. So this whole equation becomes, our new equation becomes, we have a to the power of 2 plus 2 raised to the power of 2. This actually represents what we have here. Then we have minus 4 a squared equals 0. Now, if you also consider this, 4 here is a perfect square. I can have it as 2 to the power of 2, right? So we have 2 power 2 times a power 2. And if you have a power c times b power c, this is like writing a times b or raised to the power of c because the c is common. So I can easily write this as 2 times a raised to the power of 2. Have you seen it? So because if you take 2 to the power of 2, you have 4, and a to the power of 2, you have a squared. So what we are going to have right now is simply, we have a squared plus 2 raised to the power of 2 minus, we have 2a raised to the power of 2, and this equals 0. So at this point, there's power 2 here, and there's power 2 here. And there is a subtraction sign that is separating them. So what we can do is to make use of difference of two squares. For instance, if you have a squared minus b squared, this equals a minus b times a plus b. And in this case, our a equals what we have inside this bracket. That's a squared plus 2. And b equals what we have here, that is 2a. So we can make use of this difference of two squares in order to expand this. So 
we have a minus b that is a squared plus 2 that is our a minus b is 2a times we have a plus b that is a squared plus 2 then we have plus our b is 2a and this equals 0. So the next step will be for us to equate each of these to 0. So we have a squared plus 2 minus 2a equals 0 or we have a squared plus 2 plus 2a equals 0. Now before we can solve we can easily rearrange these equations. So let's start. What we are going to have here is we have a squared minus 2a plus 2 equals 0 or for this other one here we have a squared plus 2a plus 2 equals 0. So right now these are two different quadratic equations that we are going to solve for the values of a. So for this first one here we can solve this using the formula method. We have a equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a. And right now, we need to find the value of a, b, and c from this equation. The equation of a squared is 1, and that is our a. This negative 2 here is the equation of a, that is our b, and the c here is 2. So let's insert it and solve for the first one before we consider the second equation. So let's consider this one first. So we are going to have a equals negative b. That's negative times negative 2 plus or minus square root of b squared. That is negative 2 to the power of 2 minus 4 times 1 times c is 2. And this is divided by 2a. That is 2 times 1. From here, we have a equals negative times negative 2. This is positive 2 plus or minus square root of. This will give us 4 minus this is 8 divided by 2. 2 times 1 is 2. From here, we have a equals 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 8 is negative 4 divided by 2. And this will give us a that is a equals 2 plus or minus because of this minus here we have square root of negative 1 times square root of 4 divided by 2. And from here we have a equals 2 plus or minus square root of negative 1 is i times square root of 4 we have 2 divided by 2. So these two eliminate these two eliminate these two. This will give us 1 plus or minus i. So we have two values for a. We have a equals 1 plus i and we also have a equals 1 minus i. So this can be our a1 and this is a2. The next step will be for us to go and solve this other equation. We still have this quadratic equation here and we are going to solve it using the formula method. So let's write the formula again. We have a equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a. The equation of a squared is 1. That's our a, the 2 here is our b, the 2 here is our c. We have a equals negative b, that's negative 2, plus or minus square root of b squared, 2 squared minus 4 times a, that is 1 times 2, divided by 2 times 1. So from here, we are definitely going to have a equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared, this is 4 minus 8 divided by 2. 2 times 1 is 2. So from here, you have a equals negative 2 plus or minus 
4 minus 8, that is negative 4. This is square root of negative 4 divided by 2, and this equals negative 2 plus or minus. Because of this negative here, we have square root of negative 1 times square root of 4 divided by 2. From here, we have a equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of negative 1 is i times square root of 4, that is 2, divided by 2. 2 eliminates 2, eliminates 2. So what we are going to have is negative 1 plus or minus i. So we also have two different solutions for a right now. So this can be our a3 equals negative 1 plus i, and a4 equals negative 1 minus i. So these are the four different solutions. They are all complex solutions from A1 to A4. So that is it. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends. Thank you and goodbye.